Oh, I'm a little sweaty. It's a little warm right now. I was outside doing some construction projects and then my dough finished um, settling in with its gluten and stuff after an hour. So I decided to roll it out. I cut it into four chunks as you saw in the picture before. I rolled it three times on uh, level one. There's these KitchenAid pasta rollers and they have a uh, dial. Uh, let's see, there we go, with a bunch of numbers on it. That's gonna be the thickness of your pasta. So um, I just keep rolling it until I reach level four because that is the thickness that I want for this type of pasta. Um, if you're doing like a spaghetti, you might wanna go a little bit further. So it's a little bit thinner and same with like angel hair and things like that. Um, pro tip, so it does not look perfectly square like this when it's finished rolling. I actually, um, it looks kind of funky sometimes. I'm, I'm sure there's better ways of doing it, but this is how I do it. This is my, my non-pro way, but pro tip for my non-pro way. Um, for the funky side, I put that in the roller first. That seems to straighten it out a bit. And then at the end, I cut off the edge and that's why you'll see I have one, two, three, four, five sheets is because with that extra from the edges, I made another roll. Now, the reason why I want it to be kind of straight is because when I put it through the pasta cutter, it's going to make it kind of hard to cut if it's not even. So I have my five sheets. I'm going to get started cutting my pasta now and hopefully pretty soon we will have some lemon pasta. See you soon. All right, so I am going to run this pasta through my fettuccine cutter because they did not have a pappardelle cutter on Amazon. So this is the next best thing. And you'll see what happens. Some of the pieces are falling off because that's what happens when your pasta sheets are not exactly <laughs> even. You have to feed this through wonderfully. Green and green and showing the pasta. Mm -hmm. so, luckily it's mostly even. I'm having these long sheets of noodles. Yeah, noodles. The noodles. We'll dry them up here on my folding pasta rack. And get started on the rest of these rolls. See you later. My robot vacuum is going off right now. Um, I am about to grab some of this Papa Deli that's been hanging on my pasta drying rack while I was doing other things. And I'm about to put it into a pot of boiling water. Specifically, I have a Dutch oven, but you could use a stock pot or anything else that you normally cook your pasta in. Um, I wanted to make sure everybody knows that you, um, generally people will put a pinch of salt in with their pasta, not oil. You think oil is going to keep the noodles from sticking and stuff. That's that's actually bad if you're using sauces because that'll make the sauce not stick to the noodles. So we put salt here. Salt also technically will be infused in the noodle a little bit, um, but it also raises the boiling point of the water, which allows us to cook the pasta a little bit better. So I'm going to throw some of this pasta into my boiling water now and give it five to seven minutes until it's al dente, which is going to be not super soft and mushy, but it's it's going to be a little bit, like it, it's gonna be more firm, I guess is the best way to put it. So see you soon. <laughs> 